Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Gardening. And in this episode, like I promised, I will take you through the whole design process of this makeover and will also give you some tips on minimal interior designing that will not burn a hole in your pocket. So my client, who is also my friend, has been one of those few lucky people who still get to work from home. So he wanted his office space where he spends most of his day to inspire him and give him that energy he needs to navigate his work life. So most of the clutter you see here he wanted out and wanted more space to roam around. Apart from working, he also loved to take a few quick naps. So the bed was an important feature too that I had to incorporate in this makeover. Hence, this room typifies work-life balance to the hilt. Also, the budget expectations must be set at this point and ours was 50,000 Indian rupees. When making over an already lived-in room, it's important to decide mutually with the client on what stays and what needs to go. Do not, as designers, foist your opinion on your client and see to it that you find enough space in the room to include items that hold sentimental values. So we mutually decided to sell this table and the bean bag took a lot of unnecessary space so that had to go too. The curtains and the curtain rods of course did not fit in the theme that he wanted which we'd like to call Tropical Bali. So in this phase you would need some sign offs from your client and I showed him some colours to paint his old wardrobe. So we were stuck with two colours, light green or a nice shade of blue and he chose this colour called Bali Blue. And this became the colour that set the tone for his makeover and the rest of the elements just blended well with this. So we did find it very difficult to get good painters because they were coating really high and they were also talking about removing the old paint with thinner and then painting afresh etc which would have turned out to be quite tedious. But I finally zeroed in on these folks who've painted my home long ago. So we decided to paint the whole wall pure white, including the ceiling. So most painters in India would paint the walls the colour you choose and then they paint the ceiling with a white mixed with a blue dye. Don't do that. Tell them to paint both the walls and the ceiling with the same colour, especially if it is white for that seamless look. So first, they removed all the wall fixtures, added putty to close the holes and painted these surfaces. For the brown wardrobe, they put two coats of primer and after the primer dried, they painted the surface with barley blue. The handles were naturally metallic golden slash bronze, so we left it as is since they complemented the colour. Now, for the lights, we zeroed in on this inexpensive Jewish lamp that took the place of this regular tube light. But since he was comfortable with warm lights, we chose this lamp. But ideally, in workspaces, it is better if you have white light since it is easier on the eye. And warm lights are for more cozier settings like bedrooms. But in this case, the client loved his bed more than his work. So we kept things warm for him. We also decided to keep this mirror but we painted this with the same barley blue and added some bulby lights to give it a more cinematic vibe. My client is fascinated with movies, music and anything showbiz. The cot at first we thought would be painted the same barley blue but then we thought that the colour would be overpowering and we stuck to painting this white so that the bed blends well with the walls and the room ends up looking more spacious. For the thing that actually makes this office space exactly that, we thought we'd buy a foldable IKEA table and they fortunately had a white one. We're very happy with this table and it's quite sturdy for a laptop kind of a work. The best part is that when he's not working, he can fold this and he'll end up with more space to do whatever he wants. Now to keep his printer and other office staples, we decided to buy this IKEA shelf. The printer, his laptop charger and other staples are kept at the bottom. The printer also acts like a counterweight when kept at the bottom since the shelf is a little flimsy and is not very sturdy. So all his knickknacks, travel souvenirs, books etc. have been kept 
on the top along with it of course we have added a little bit of green with some plants that don't die on him the string of lights idea is his own and i love what he's done here next we move on to another integral part of this makeover and the most expensive one at that the curtains so when you do curtains it is important to have a floor to ceiling length curtain especially if you have french doors here we've used a channel curtain and the channel is attached to the ceiling. On the extreme left and right side, we have the thicker curtains or the darkening curtains and in between you can have the sheer curtains. Another pro tip is that you don't need two channels. One channel is enough and for a standard room size, you can order two pieces of darkening curtains on the left and right, so four in total and six sheer curtains in between to get that volume. Ensure that the curtains also cover the wall from left to right. For the smaller window, we decided to go with a blind and it also complements the office theme and he wanted this blue color. So we finalized these colors and the curtain was installed within weeks time. But the curtains together cost us around 24,000 or so and the vendor was not all that friendly. So I would not recommend his shop. So why floor to ceiling length curtains you may ask? It is because just look at the before and after and you can see the difference. This floor to ceiling curtain makes the smallest room look big because they draw your eyes all the way up. And please do not buy loop curtains. They are out of fashion and expose the rods in between. So even if you buy the rod curtains, ensure they are closed like this one without the metal loops. But you never know, things that are now out of fashion will may come back with a bang. However, my personal preference is pleats and rod pockets. Now, for this grey wall, we painted it white and added three open framed posters of his favourite author and musicians. We downloaded these posters online and you must ensure to take pictures with very good resolution. And we got this done at Practo for a nominal fee. All of them are in contrasting colours of black or brown and that brings in the synergy with the warm lights shining down their illustrious faces. An office room needs such reminders to feel inspired. So altogether, these items and renovations cost us approximately 52,000 Indian rupees. So we overshot the budget by 2,000 rupees but the plans took another 5,000 off our initial budget because we went in for big plants like the Monstera, Rubber Plant, Ficus Lyrata and such that bring about an instant impact. So with a minimal budget and a little bit of imagination, you can transform a tired room into a room you'd want to live and work in forever. I hope you've enjoyed this particular program and I've added the links to some of the items you can find online below. Check it out if you want. And me and my friend here hope that you'd like this video and give us honest reviews on what we've done here. You can watch the extended tour here. Thank you for watching and always remember, to grow slow is to grow well. So until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.